Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be discussing the market value to realize value Z-score. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Now, the market value to realize value Z-score, or MVRV Z-score for short, is of course an on-chain metric. And as I've mentioned many times before, when we talk about on-chain metrics, we first have to put on our on-chain analysis hat, but we also have to remember that on-chain data could, in fact, be manipulated, um, and and so you need to you need to keep that in mind when you when you ultimately look at this data. With that said, the MVRV Z-score does have a fairly decent track record of of identifying accumulation zones for Bitcoin, and one of the things you'll notice is that. And by the way, if I if I um, if you're not familiar with what the MVRV Z-score is, it's just simply defined as the market cap minus the realized cap divided by the standard deviation of the market cap. So the point is once it goes below, say, zero, you could argue that, in fact, it is being reset. And once it goes below zero, we eventually find some type of a market cycle bottom. We go into an accumulation phase and we gear up for the next bull run. You can see recently the NVRV Z score, in fact, did go below zero. But you can also see if you zoom in here, it's not necessarily at a bottom yet. We don't really, I mean, hindsight will, will of course tell us, but there's no, you know, there simply is no way to know yet if it is, if it, if it is bottomed. Based on previous bear markets, you can see that every other bear market that the, the Bitcoin has had when looking at the MVRV Z score, it in fact did ultimately go lower um, than it is right now. So something to consider when, when you, when you think about these markets. The other thing to look at with, with the MVRV Z score is when we're at major peaks, as long as, I mean, when we're up at these levels, it generally is a decent time to, to take profits on Bitcoin. And this is one of the reasons why back in early 2021, I was, I was uh, quite bearish and, and, and thinking that we needed to have some type of a, a summer lull, not only because um, I, I thought we were ahead of schedule, but also just simply because so many indicators were sort of flashing red, like this is, you know, this is the top or at least a local top. And it ended up being one of the a local top before we got another another top in in November. So just something to consider as you continue to navigate the cryptoverse. You can sort of see that it, you know it at least appears that the MBR VZ score is settling in to where it will enter into a new accumulation phase to support a new bull market. Um, but that those types of 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 processes can can actually take quite a long period of time to to ultimately play out. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Remember, we have these charts as well as a lot of other charts at intothecryptoverse.com. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.